Hey, what up? This is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD, and thanks again for checking out another one of my videos. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share my videos. Definitely appreciate you supporting my channel. So I got some great news coming out of Colombia, as well as I got some news coming out of DR as far as some thieves. So the first thing I want to go over is what has happened, what, ha what is going on in Colombia, the fact of the good news. Well, the good news is the fact that it appears that the president is looking to lift the face mask mandates. So this is not particular to the entire country. This is only for certain regions that have met over 70% of, of people or residents that have been inoculated. So I want to jump into this article to show you guys exactly what is going on and to give you guys the great news that was released today. Of course, this was also rumor was released a couple days ago, but of course the president, once he said it, he's making it official as well as the ministry of health has also um, released a statement on this whole ordeal. So I'm gonna jump into the article right now. So here's the article says from present. It says here, end of mask, I'm sorry, end of face mask in Colombia, Ivan confirms in which municipalities it is not mandatory. All right, from the start, it says, although a few days ago, the Ministry of Health, uh, Fernando, confirmed that Colombians should continue to use the face mask for a while as measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19 variants, such as including the Omicron. Around noon this, front, this Wednesday on February 23rd, President Ivan confirmed that in some regions of the country, the use of the face mask uh, will begin to be lifted gradually. According to the head of state, all those municipalities in the national territory that have vaccination levels with complete schemes greater than 70% of their population may order the lift of the mandatory use of face masks in spaces. Uh, it says right here, may order the lift of the mandatory use of face masks in spaces open to the public. The president also stated that this decision was made under the supervision of the epidemiological committee, taking into account the downward trend in cases. So here is the video um, that he actually released on Twitter of him speaking of this. I'm going to play this video for you guys. I actually have this rolled up here. So let's, let's jump into this video and see what's up. Nosotros ya hemos fijado con el Ministerio de Salud un lineamiento. Aquellos municipios cuya vacunación, cuya vacunación supere el 70%, podrán ya levantar el uso del tapabocas en espacios públicos, en aquellos lugares donde la vacunación esté por encima del 70%. ¿Eso para qué tiene que servir? Para que salgamos también todos rápidamente a cumplir esa meta como país. Nos falta poco para llegar a ese 70% como país, estamos en el 65%, ya hay ciudades que superaron inclusive el 70%. En esos lugares donde ya tenemos vacunación de doble dosis superior al 70%, vamos a levantar el uso del tapabocas en espacios abiertos. Entonces, esta es una medida que se toma pensando en la salud pública, pero también manteniendo el principio rector que tenemos todos los colombianos que vacunan. There we go. So that was what was stated from the president. So in quotes, quotes as it says here, it says we are at 65%. There are already cities that have, have even exceeded 70%. In those places where we already have double dose vaccination of more than 70%, we are going to lift the use of face masks in open spaces, adding the president of, of Colombia. He also invited the territorial entitled and the population to join effort to achieve this goal throughout the country and thus guarantee public public health and the advancement of the national vaccination plan. So you guys could continue reading the rest of this article that is here. Um, there's a lot more that go depth into other things. However, I'm going to go into this tweet from the um, from the street from the actual from the National Ministry of Health. So I'm going to go into this tweet. So I'm going to go into this tweet from the National uh, Ministry of Health. So here's a tweet from Fernando uh, basically stating this. He says the decision to eliminate the use of masks linked to 70 percent coverage in complete schemes have made have been made by the advisory committee for two weeks and is 
specific today in its elimination in open spaces in 451 municipalities with more than 70% per Ivan, which is the president. So that's basically what's going on with Columbia. The fact that they're lifting it and this is only for those locations or those um, areas that actually have over 70% uh, percent of people that have been vaccinated. So hopefully this is in a lot of the places that we like to go to, you know, such as I know a lot of people that, that watch my channel, you know, watch my videos, they usually go to Medellin. Um, so let me know. You know what? Matter of fact, matter of fact, leave a comment below. You know, put a put a C below in the comments. Let me know if you guys are happy with this decision. Um, if you're not happy with it, of course, put an N. You know, to let me know that you're not happy about this. But you know, hopefully, most people are actually happy about this decision that is being made. Now, in other news, I want to touch on one of the latest news that actually ha that is coming out of Sasua. So it appears that two women actually got caught stealing money from. Uh, tourists out in South Sioux. So I'm going to bring up this, um, this quick little picture article of what's going on of what actually happened and how they got caught. So this was released on Instagram and it says here, the national police reported the, re the arrest of two women accused of stealing cash from a foreigner in the munici municipality of South Sioux. The, de the detainees were identified as Yana Rodriguez and Crystal Lebron, 26 and 22 year old respectively who are allegedly engaged in prostitution the women well the women are accused of embezzling the sum of 15,000 or 15 mil Dominican pesos from 55 year old Robert Erling I hope I said, said the last name correctly at the time of the arrest they seized the sum of 14,200 pesos which had been inserted in the vagina both will be put under the jurisdic jurisdiction of the public department of their respectable law purposes. So, so they got caught up for stealing money from a tourist. So, hey, that's what's going on. Of course, we know that's one of the regular things that goes on in, in Dominican, Dominican Republic. It is nothing new, but hey, that was reported and made the headlines. So I just wanted to put that out there. Well, this is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.